That's because on any given day during the Olympics, about 800 Los Angeles police officers pass through here. This is a hospitality suite of sorts for them. The police officers can eat and drink and shave and shower and sleep. It's run by a group of ladies called the Southwest Sweethearts, and for 15 years they've been providing backup and support to L.A.'s police officers. And the woman that runs that group, the Sweethearts, is right here with us, Marguerite Justice. They call her Mama J. Mama J, what's on the menu today? Well, we have Salisbury steak, tossed salad, and baked corn. Sounds pretty good. Now, why are you doing this? I assume the city provides meals for the police. Yes, they do, but we provide more than meals. We are talking about officers working 12-hour shifts. That means 14 to 16 hours by the time they complete their reports. This means they do not only have time to go home and come back and uh, be on duty again, so we provide the, the sleeping quarters, showers, and the meals, they need hot meals. I think the attitude adjustment that's made of 45 minutes that they have a lunch break is very important. There's been an attitude adjustment in the community as well. This is a high crime area in Los Angeles, and they've been checking the crime statistics since this massive police presence came here and in the, uh, from last year at the same time. This area has seen a 70% decline in crimes like burglary and theft and robbery, in fact, 90% in armed robbery, and you've been asking for more police for a long time. I guess this proves your point. That's right, because now we've had a sample of it. We know how it is. Now it's safe to walk the streets. Now we can get in our cars and uh, get out of our cars and get into trolleys. Mama Jay, we very quickly, uh, Sergeant Ron Brown, what does it mean to the police? Well, this type of thing, it creates a family-type atmosphere. It's a situation where the officers can come and relax and uh, sort of unwind. Okay, thank you very much, Sergeant Brown and Mama Jay. And one more quick note. This, by the way, this hospitality suite isn't a bank. This is a city where there's been a bank robbery every day for the past five years, but you can bet that this is one bank where there will be no robberies during the Olympics. That's it from here. Back to you, Frank. Thank you very much, Jed.